All right, today we're going to be hacking a GoPro Hero HD. This is a GoPro Hero 1. Um, I'm not sure, but I think the Hero 2 would be the same hack. And uh, we're going to be using this as a trail camera. Well, this camera is capable of taking uh, still photos, time-lapse photos, and uh, HD video, um, 1080p. Uh, this is GoPro Hero model YHDC5170. Alright, um, and the only thing we have to hack into the camera for is our external microphone and external battery power. Um, the uh, We will be setting the camera for one button mode operation, which means that uh, as soon as you press the power mode button the camera will power up and it will start taking photos time lapse or video whichever you have it set for and for that you will need a bus port connector like this uh, and i sell these on my website with the wires already attached to it and this simply just plugs into the back of the camera and it'll only go in one way so it plugs in and it locks into place um, and this would get connected to your controller board uh, such as a safari board or a game watcher um, I'm going to be using a safari board with a uh, MOSFET backpacker because I'm going to have LED lighting for my nighttime video uh, but to get the uh, bus port connector out it's got a little uh, thing on the top and the bottom that you have to press in that disengages the locks that hold that uh, connector into place All right. So get started on the hack. Um, if you don't have a lens cap to protect your lens, uh, use a soft cloth or something that you can set the camera down on so it doesn't scratch up your lens. Go ahead and remove the uh, battery door. Take out the battery. All right. And there's four screws we need to remove. Two on the uh, right, two on the left. The two on the right are machine thread, thread screws and the two on the left are um, threaded to go into plastic so make sure you keep these screws um, proper orientation when you go put them back in All right. get all these screws out just simply pull the back cover off now it has a, a speaker that is on this uh, side over here and sometimes it wants to get hung up in the housing over here so you have to just kind of make sure that pulls out of there and then just rotate the back cover over to the left side okay now to do our external power locations you'll notice on this bottom left corner there's a solder pad down here let's see if I can zoom in and get this to stay in focus there we go this bottom left solder pad is where you solder a wire for your external battery positive positive. and on, on some of the cameras I've noticed that uh, right up in this area here there's a uh, solder pad that corresponds to battery negative and some don't have that solder pad and this one doesn't and I've already had this camera open and uh, scraped away some of that green mask that is on the uh, board but I'm going to show you that try to do this without having to take the camera further apart or take this back cover completely off and I'll show you what I've done here let me try to zoom in again and I lost focus. Right there, I think you can see by that red wire. Um, in that area, you want to scrape that green mask off of there until you get down to clean copper. Okay? And once you do that, you can take just a little bit of soldering paste. Get that over here. And I just use a toothpick. Put a little bit of soldering paste there on that clean copper 
and then you can use your soldering iron with a little bit of solder on it I'm going to attempt to do this on camera today Let's see if I can, yeah, okay now, see if you can see that I've got a little solder pad made there okay, and that's where I can solder on my wire for my battery external negative okay, so I'm going to go ahead and solder those wires on now I've got my wires already pre-tinned so it'll make it easier to get those soldered in place and I want to route my wires up this left hand side of the camera okay so I'm trying to get this negative wire soldered on a little bit awkward trying to do this on camera got it stuck but not very well and I'm not exactly sure why they have that red wire soldered on going over to a that bus port connector so I've got the battery external negative solder on the battery external positive see if I can get that one to stick there okay so I've got both my external wires on now for your external microphone you notice that the microphone is tucked up here in the corner of the back housing now you can leave that if you want to um, or you could remove it and drill a small hole in the top up here and exit your wires coming out of the top of the camera um, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave that external or leave the internal microphone in and right here I'm just going to carve out this little depression just a little bit deeper to allow my wires to come out there get you tilted up just a little bit here I'm just going to carve that out a little bit with a knife I'm going to go ahead and do that just deepen that little trough One other thing too, I'm using a very small gauge wire, 31 AWG. You want to keep your wires really small so they don't take up a lot of room inside. Make it more difficult to get the camera back together. Okay, and that should be plenty there. Okay. So I just deepen that and that way whenever you put the camera back together your wires don't get pinched um, in between this connector over here. Alright. So like I said the microphone is at the top left up here and it's actually on this back board it says microphone and it's got positive and negative where a red wire and a black wire are soldered on. So I'm going to desolder those wires for the internal microphone and that's optional too you don't have to do that if you don't want to but if you don't then it's going to record sound through the uh, internal mic as well as the external mic so I'm just going to touch those with my hot soldering iron and desolder them and then solder on some wires that I can bring outside the camera for my external microphone. Let's see if I can get all this done on camera. I'm sure it's a little bit more difficult for me to do this stuff on camera because I'm trying to work around the camera that I'm videoing with. Got my 
external mic positive wire soldered on. Okay, yeah, I'm sorry you didn't get to see that. But anyway, you can see I've got a yellow wire soldered on at the microphone positive and a white wire soldered on at the microphone negative. Okay, so now I just want to tuck the wires for the GoPro mic, the factory mic, just kind of tuck those up in here out of the way. Or you could remove the microphone if you want to. That's that's up to you. I uh, just want to get those wires out of the way. Okay, and now we can bring our battery external wires up along this side of the board. And we're going to exit all of the wires right off of this left hand side. And we can put our camera back together. Try to get all my wires coming out of here. And we've got to get this uh, speaker back in on this uh, right hand side. Make sure it goes back in where it's supposed to seat. Start getting your camera back together. Make sure you're not pinching any of your wires. I've got them right down in that little shallow area that I carved out. Okay. Just like that. Okay. Now we can reinstall our screws. And remember the machine thread screws go on the right. And the coarser thread screws go on the left. So I'll just reinstall our battery. Put our back cover back on the camera. And our hack is complete. Alright, now to, and I've already went through the menu and I've got this camera set up to take video and um, at uh, 1080p because you can change the resolution on your video um, so I'm, and now to start the camera pull up here I'm going to take the two wires from my bus port connector and touch those together and the camera's on but I don't have an SD card in it alright so to power the camera off you touch those together and leave them together until the uh, camera turns off. All right, so let me stick an SD card in here. And I believe you can use up to a 32 gigabyte SD card in this Hero One. All right, so now I've got an SD card installed. I also have the beep turned off on this. That's why you're not hearing it, but you'll see the red light LED right here will uh, flash when the camera comes on. So I touch my two wires together, the bus port connector, the camera is now on and it is recording video as you can see the uh, red light blinking here. Okay, and to stop the video we touch our two wires from the bus port connector, hold those together for a few seconds and the camera will power off. Alright guys, so that's the hack on the uh, GoPro Hero 1 HD. Like I said, I think the Hero 2 is going to be the same hack. Um, so um, I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.